All right, we're getting close to the players of the year, but we got one more hurdle to jump over, and that is the goalies of the year for the premier 16U Futures and 16U. These netminders were incredible. Lucas, what does it take to be a good goaltender? Well, it takes dedication. You know, we've seen the types of warm-ups and the types of preparation that these guys go through. It's insane. You see them skating forwards and backwards. They have coordination drills, vision drills, you know, reflex drills. And it, it takes it takes a little bit of something extra. I like to call it a special kind of insanity. But to these goaltenders, it's just another day at the office. I'll tell you what, I pitched, played at a high level, and when you're on that mound, you're alone. It's something about pitching, you're alone. You're, it's just you, and when something goes wrong, it's usually your fault in everyone's mind. And goalies are that to the nth degree. These guys are always at, in front of the line of fire there. They're on the front lines, and if it goes wrong, it's usually their fault. Let's look at these three incredible goaltenders, stupendous goaltenders from this season. The 16U Futures Goaltender of the Year, a lot of great candidates. But this one's from Madison, New Jersey, another Jersey Hitman Trophy being awarded. And it's John Profacci from the Jersey Hitman, Johnny P. Just how good was Johnny Hot? Well, 9-2 this year, Dan, 1.91 goals against average. 2-0 with a 2 goals against average in the playoffs. It's a guy that's shut down. You know, yep. like, like I said before, the key of the goaltender is, is you can't expect anything better from a goaltender than the type of consistency that he has shown all season and through to the playoffs. Incredible season for you, John. Congratulations to you and everyone in the New Jersey Hitman organization, your family, friends, parents, relatives, everybody, congrats. John, really well-deserved great season out of you. Can't wait to see what you've got going forward in the future. 16U, we move on to that goaltender of the year, South Shore Kings, yet again, finding their way to the trophy case. And it's Tyreek Uten of the South Shore Kings. He's a year 2000, six foot one, tall 16U goaltender out of Tampa, Florida. How good is Tyreek? Uh, well, Dan, you know, this is another guy where the numbers don't do him justice. No, nope, not he at all. such a good head on his shoulders, such great awareness. He's never a guy that looks lost back there. He always knows where the puck is. He knows what he's doing. He knows where he fits in between the pipes. I, I think there's something that if, if you're not a goaltender and you don't know a goaltender, something that you might not know is how difficult it is to know where you are in the net. Yep. You know, you've got all that gear on, your field of vision is clouded, you still have to know where those pipes are, where the crease is, where the puck is, where all these players are, and you still got to try to stop the shot. And he's one of the guys that can do it all. Tyreek, you know, the win-loss record wasn't there, but you know what, you got to look away from that at the 16U level. This kid is a future star, a superstar, athletic, quick, strong, tall, a presence in net, and a leader on the ice. Great season out of you, Tyreek. Congratulations to you at the 16U level, and congratulations to the South Shore Kings on another trophy for them. Finally, we go to the Premier Goaltender of the Year, our last award before we move on to Players of the Year at each level. Goaltender of the Year, it's a Vermont Catamount commit. This guy's going to be a Catamount. Let's go, Catamounts. Let's go, let's go, Catamounts. I think they chant that up there, and Vermont has a good one here. They don't just got good dairy. They're going to have a good goaltender. And this guy was Harmon offensive players all season long. He was Harmon forwards, Harmon defensemen trying to shoot on him. And it was Tyler Harmon of the Jersey Hitmen, six foot three inches tall. Tyler Harmon of the Ramsey, New Jersey. Congratulations on goaltender of the year. 22 7 and 1 with two shutouts. A team that dominated the regular season got upset in the playoff stand, but you know what? This guy is next level. I think he proves that with the commitment. That college is going to have a great goaltender next season. They are looking at something special out of him. Incredible seasons by all these goaltenders, by everyone at every level. We now know our final three in all of these award categories. We now know that, barring some type of surprise, which I think might just happen at one of the levels, there is going to be a surprise for Player of the Year. Someone who did not win an award yet will win Player of the Year. I can't tell you who. You gotta watch to find out. But before we go to that, we have our final coach of the year, the premier coach of the year. A lot of guys. In the past, this basically should have been called the Toby Harris Award. He won it every single year. Sean Trombley won the Founders Cup and the Dean Cup, right? He should win it, right? No. Should Toby Harris, Jersey Hitman coach, five championships in eight years in this beautiful, beautiful USPHL product, right? 
suspect not. You suspect not, it's not going to happen. Paul Kelly was a guy everybody talked about from the Syracuse Stars. Everyone was talking about him, Mr. Kelly. He won it, right? I think I know where you're going with this, Dan. Yeah, I'm not going to read down everybody on the list, but incredible coaches through and through in this entire league. The guy who wins it all took his Boston Junior Bruins to the title game, and he's a great coach, a leader of men, a guy who was able to put together an incredible team come the end of the year. The Boston Junior Bruins, Mike Anderson. Grab the mic, drop the mic. An incredible season for Mike. Just how good was Mike's season at the helm of the Boston Junior Bruins? You know, great season. They come into the playoffs, third seed, make it all the way to the title game. You know, there's an interesting statistic that I think talks about how good of a coach he is. Boston Junior Bruins never lost a game in overtime. Never. Not once. Never. Overtime is where the system has to shine. If you are doing what you are doing right and you're doing it well, you can win those games in overtime. Hats off to the coach of the Junior Bruins. What a great season. Outscored opponents by 68 goals this year. Three seed going into the playoffs. Made the run all the way to the title game. All the way to the final Demean Cup title matchup. Was unable to beat IHC. But with the season they put together, the development you saw in that program, Mike Anderson, a very, very well-deserved Coach of the Year award. Congratulations, Mike. Congratulations to our goaltenders, and it's Player of the Year time, what you've all been waiting for. Remember, there's going to be one surprise. Someone who is not in the final three, forward, goaltender of the year, defenseman of the year, one of these levels will win Player of the Year. Keep watching. You'll find out. Stick with us. We'll be back tomorrow. Lucas, Dan, awards. Bringing them back at you tomorrow.